too. Rick, has, as he said, came from Alaska to help me out tonight. And let me just tell you how grateful I am for all of you being here tonight, for all of those who helped us in this journey to get us here today. It's been a heck of a tough, challenging campaign. Um, I'm just going to tell you that, you know, when I first ran for my first term, I ran full time because it is a full time job to run a campaign for a, for a position at this level. And now being mayor, running for re-election, at the, at the uh, height of, of the type of, of campaign that I had to run has been the most challenging thing in my life, but it was worth it. It's worth it for the city I love for all of you, for the future of our city, for the future of our children and our grandchildren. So I anticipated that we would not know tonight the outcome of the race for mayor. We knew all along this was going to be extremely tight, within one, two percentage points. So we've got a lot of ballots out there that are still uncounted. We're about 1,600 apart. We've got about 20,000 ballots still to be counted. And I believe we're going to make up those ballots. Yeah. I will be your next mayor. But let me just take a moment to thank all the incredible people who got us to where we are today. My staff, my campaign staff, and Jeff, Jeff, where is Jeff? Emily Strode, Tom McArthur. All the volunteers who doorbell, rain or shine, who phone banked, who sign waved, delivered signs. I could not do that. We engage people who have never been involved in local elections before. Newbies to our city, people that came from other states because they wanted to be here for the quality of life that we have, for the cost of living that we all get to experience and, and, and enjoy. And I said, you know what? You moved here from California, you're not going to vote the same way, are you? Mm -mm. They want to preserve what they came here for. And that's what this election is about, is preserving what we love most about our city and preserving the quality of life that we want for the future. My opponent, there hasn't been a, there's been a huge contrast in, in her idea for what she wants for our city and what I want for the city. This isn't over yet. We're going to continue day by day to see how those ballots come out. And we're going to get count updates at the end of every day. And, and I believe we're going to squeak this one out. So keep the faith. Yeah. Thank you for your prayers. I just want to thank all the prayer warriors in our city who have been praying um, for me, for all of the other candidates. And let me just thank you for the prayers for my mom. I had to walk away from the campaign last week. Wasn't the best timing. Life never has great timing. But I knew I had to be there for my mom. And I knew God would take care of the rest. And he will. He's going to take care of us. So thank you all. I am encouraged. I am not giving up. We're going to fight till the end. Till the very, very end. <laughs> What we were able to navigate through a global health pandemic, a summer of riots, our, uh, summer of protests, our first riot, defund the police, the president of workforce shortages, a housing crisis, can't hope we got on the other side of that. And I tell people, I'm, I'm running again because I got a lot of fight left in me. Yeah. And I'm fighting for all of you. So thank you.